Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Golden State Warriors Signing First Round Draft Bust According to the Athletic Shams Tarania, the Golden State Warriors have signed forward Kevin Knox. Knox most recently spent part of the 2023-24 season with the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons traded Knox to the Utah Jazz in February, but the team waived him before he could play a game for them. On the year, the Arizona native averaged 7.2 points and 2.4 rebounds in 31 games. Free agent F. Kevin Knox has agreed to a one-year deal with the Golden State Warriors, sources tell at The Athletic. The six-year NBA veteran averaged 7.2 points in 18 minutes a game for the Pistons last season, and now will compete in Warriors training camp. The New York Knicks drafted the forward with the ninth pick in the 2018 NBA draft. Knox played in parts of four unimpressive seasons with the team, before the team shipped him out in 2022. This move comes less than a week before the Warriors are set to begin training camp on October 1. It is unlikely that Knox will make an impact in Golden State. However, he is an intriguing addition to the team. While he never panned out as a lottery pick, Knox is still a solid player in the NBA. He is a decent offensive player with a good jump shot. Knox is also capable of creating his own shot, though he is an inconsistent scorer. Additionally, he is versatile and can play both forward positions. The Warriors are a team that also needs forward depth. Currently, the team is slated to start Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kaminga at both forward positions. However, they are slim at the forward spots beyond those two. The team did sign Kyle Anderson this summer, however. This summer was one of the most eventful off-seasons in Warriors history. Most notably, they lost longtime star and four-time champion Clay Thompson, who joined the Dallas Mavericks. Additionally, they waived Chris Paul after one year, who signed with the San Antonio Spurs. Dario Sarek, who also spent just one year in Golden State, signed with the Denver Nuggets this offseason. On the flip side, the Warriors added some solid players as well. In addition to Anderson, the Warriors acquired wing Buddy Heald and guard to Anthony Melton. The Warriors also signed point guard Stephen Curry to a contract extension that will keep him with the team through the 2026-27 season. Last season, the Warriors missed the playoffs after finishing as the number 10 seed. Following their off-season moves, it is clear they are aiming to make it back next season and capitalize on the championship window they have remaining. Report, Veteran Forward Knox, Warriors Agree to One-Year Contract The Warriors bolstered their roster depth ahead of training camp. Veteran forward Kevin Knox agreed to a one-year contract with Golden State, the Athletic Shams Tarania reported Wednesday, citing sources. The 25-year-old Knox, a former number 9 overall pick by the New York Knicks in the 2018 NBA draft, played three-plus seasons in New York before he was traded to the Atlanta Hawks midway through the 2021-22 season. Knox then played for the Detroit Pistons and Portland Trailblazers during the 2022-23 season before a second stint with Detroit last season. Knox averaged 7.4 points, 2.9 rebounds, and 0.7 assists per game on 39.2% shooting from the field and 34.1% from three-point range in 306 career games, 77 starts, prior to joining Golden State's summer league roster earlier this offseason. The journeyman forward shined for the Warriors this summer, leading the team in total points, 70, and rebounds, 34, in exhibition play. Now he returns to Golden State to compete for a roster spot. Not long before they became the biggest bully in the NBA, the Warriors sustained one of the league's most ignominious streaks, one that extended even beyond their humiliating 13-year playoff drought. Golden State went a league record 15 years without an all-star. No starter, no reserve, no representation in the game. When the Warriors finally busted that slump, they did so with vengeance. 
Since David Lee's streak-snapping selection in 2013, their first since Latrell Sprewell in 1997, only once, in the lost season of 2019-20, have they been shut out of the February extravaganza. A glance at the current roster makes it conceivable there could be more shutouts once Stephen Curry leaves the room. The 2025 All-Star Game will be played at Chase Center next February 16, and the only warrior assured of participating is, health permitting, Curry. He was the team's only representative in each of the last two seasons. The days of the Warriors dominating the All-Star roster, with multiple players in five consecutive games, twice sending four players, are over. Curry, a 10-time All-Star, turns 37 next season. Draymond Green, a four-time All-Star, turns 35. Andrew Wiggins, a one-time All-Star, turns 30. No one else on the roster has played a second in the game. Which brings us to the four players that, for now, project to lead the Warriors at the end of this decade, Tracy Jackson Davis, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, and Brandon Podziemski. Warriors wave summer league standout Daquan Plowden, paving way to sign rookie Quinton Post. The Warriors officially waived Daquan Plowden, per the team's transaction log, clearing a two-way roster spot for rookie center Quinton Post. Plowden, a six-foot-six wing, played so well in the summer league that he earned a two-way contract with the Warriors. In eight summer league games, Plowden averaged 14.6 points and 4.4 rebounds per game while shooting 39.6% from three. He's showing that he should be in the NBA, summer league coach Anthony Vereen said after Plowden scored 19 points in a win over Phoenix. The way he plays so hard, aggressively, on both ends, he doesn't take a play off. It's a pleasure as a coach to watch him put himself in a better position but teams only have three two-way spots, so Golden State waved Plowden just as fast as they signed him. Before Tuesday, the Warriors had Plowden, Pat Spencer, and Reese Beekman signed to two-way deals. Waving Plowden gives Golden State the opportunity to sign their 52nd overall draft pick, Post, to a two-way contract. Originally from Netherlands, Post projects as a stretch center as a seven-footer with range. He didn't play in the summer league due to a minor leg injury, but practiced with the team. Beekman was also injured during summer league, limiting him to two games. An undrafted free agent out of Virginia, Beekman could become a defensive specialist. Keeping him as a two-way player over Plowden suggests the Warriors highly value his potential. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Quentin Post? Leave your opinion in the comments.